Hi guys, this is the part three of the Tremicro DLP. In this demo, we will show you how to actually scenario is all about when you have this DLP policies in place. First, let's look at this screen here. We have defined this the policy. This is the name of the policy is keyword with weight. So in this policy, I have configured uh, this one. Okay. The settings are listed here. So this is the template, DLP keyword with weight. And these are the channels, I select all. And this is action is to block and notify the user and record the incident. So on the right, you can see this is explanation of this uh, policy. So let's go through this uh, policy uh, step by step before you can explain to you how the actual policies uh, work. So let's come back to these DLP templates here. Okay, this is the template for the DLP keyword. And these are the conditions. So the first is this uh, data identifier of this uh, keyword, which is the keyword with weight. And the end gate of this, you have this Malaysian IC number and the accept gate is to accept this approved by manager condition. So let's go and look at what is defined in the keyword with weight, right? So under this keyword uh, data identifier, we have this uh, keyword with weight. Yeah. So it says that uh, I have this uh, private as one score and contract another score. So as long as I detect these two, I will pass the threshold of one and it reflect this document as confidential. Let's hide this now. Come back to here. So I have configured that as here, which is a keyword with weight, threshold of one, and a private and contract keywords with the Malaysian IC number, except this approach my manager. So Let's try to send an email out here. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is the contract document. So it will automatically be flagged. It's a confidential data. So a user will be notified and this incident will be recorded. And let's try another channel, which is this uh, SharePoint. So I just upload the file here. Same document. So it will be blocked as well. And the what about this channel? Is the let's say I have a messaging system here. So same thing, it will be blocked. This is uh, using Skype. And uh, okay, I have shown you three. Let's show you further on what kind of documents that you can detect here. So just now I showed you is the text file. What about this uh, zip file? If I zip the file and try to send out, see, same incident detected. And the, what about this uh, another type of document, which is a word document? It will be detected as well. So let's see what is in this word document. It's actually, uh, there's a contract keyword there's a IC number, but one item is missing, which is another keyword, which is private. So where does it say uh, this is a private and how does it crack? So if you scroll down here, you can see there's a watermark here. So it means this DOP also supports this watermark. Okay. And this is another file, which is an Excel file. It's a contract with a private IC number. So let's try to send it out and see if they're able to detect that. Here we go. See, same incident being detected. And what if this user trying to convert this into a PDF and try to send it out? Same incident detected. So you some may question that what if I take this document and print it out and what have happened? So let's try to print it out. Here, I just printed a PDF file. See, it cannot print because it's been detected as a confidential data. So this is uh, how effective uh, this Tremacro DOP is. And I hope so. By doing so, you will be able to understand this uh, actual uh, simulation of this DOP.
So, okay, maybe some has asked that I have to set the document that uh, there's a accept condition. So if I have a document which is uh, with the word approve my manager, so I try to send it up, you see it will be attached because I set the condition that accept when the document is have a wording of approved by my manager. So this ends this uh, demo session and the next part I will show you what we will see at the console after so many incidents. Stay tuned and uh, enjoy. Thank you.